Hey tech enthusiasts, get ready for a performance leap! Intel's next-gen Panther Lake processors are about to change the game. Now, Intel has been facing some challenges lately in their CPU business. But Panther Lake is their ticket to a major comeback. This new chip marks their first use of the in-house 18A process node, which isn't just crucial for their processors, but also for the future of Intel Foundry services. Let's dive into the architecture. Panther Lake is packing some serious heat with Cougar Cove P cores and Darkmont E cores. Originally there were rumors about Skymont E cores but turns out Darkmont, which was planned for Clearwater Forest Xeon CPUs, is the real deal here. And don't even get me started on graphics. Panther Lake features the XE3 Celestial Graphics architecture. It's going to provide a stellar visual experience. Plus, it includes 5th gen neural processing units, delivering up to 180 tops of AI power. That's a massive jump from Lunar Lake. What about memory support? Panther Lake HCPUs will support LPDDR5 X6800, 7467, 8533 MTS speeds for memory support and DDR5 6400, 7200 MTS speeds. So, you can expect blazing fast performance and seamless multitasking. Now, let's talk configurations and power. For the Panther Lake H, we're looking at multiple SKUs, such as 4 P cores plus 8 E cores plus 4 LP E cores plus 12 XE3 cores, with power levels ranging from 25 watts PL1, 45 watts PL2, and 80 watts PL2. Panther Lake U configurations include 4 P cores plus 0 E cores plus 4 LP E cores plus 4 XE3 cores, starting at 15 watts PL1, going up to 54 watts PL2. Release date? Expected in the second half of 2025 with volume production ramping up in 2026. Samples are already with partners so it's just a matter of time. So if you're excited about the future of CPUs and want to stay updated on all things tech you know what to do. Like, subscribe and ring that bell for more tech news. Trust me you don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.